Okay, so I'm going to be making some gradient scents, or gradient soap, um, and I'm going to be using some male scents. I'm going to be using this John Paul Gaultier fragrance oil, and I'm going to be using these uh, mica pigments from Sia, from Amazon. So I have a green, and then this is like an ivory gold. So I have some clear melt and pour soap here that I'm going to heat up, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with this green pigment. I know it looks blue, but it's a really pretty green. Well, here's what it looks like. And then I'm going to add my fragrance oil. Okay, so if you can see, I have my mold at an angle. I have something underneath it to help keep it at that angle. So now I'm just going to pour it in about halfway. I'm going to cut up some more clear melt and pour soap. So I'll be back. Okay, so the green has dry and now I'm going to lay it flat. It doesn't need to be on an angle anymore. So I have my clear melt and pour mixed up and I'm going to add this white gold. And these can be used not only for soap, but also for resin. So, I'm probably going to be doing another video using them uh, with a resin project. So here's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to add my fragrance oil. that dry and I will be back. Okay, so it is almost dry. Um, the reason I am not waiting until it's completely dry is because I want to make sure that the last layer of soap will adhere to it. Now, if you do wait until it's completely dry, something you can do is take like a bamboo skewer and put little lines in it so that the soap will go into those lines and adhere because if not the layers can separate. So I just have some shea butter melt and pour soap here. I'm going to add some fragrance oil. I want to make sure that this isn't too hot so that it doesn't melt it. And 
then we're going to put our last layer. let that last layer dry and then we'll be done and I will show you the completed soap. Okay, so here is what it looks like completed. I think it came out super gorgeous. making let me show you another soap in this design so I used that same ivory gold and I filled up this little butterfly mold and then I put it in here and then I have some purple soap here and I'm using raspberry vanilla fragrance oil from Brambleberry so I'm just checking the temp <coughs> temperature to make sure it's not too hot that it will melt the butterfly. And it's less than 130 degrees, so we should be good. So when that one's done, I'll show you what it looks like as well. So what I'm going to do is I run it under some hot water to really make these colors pop and then I'll let it dry before I shrink wrap it. So I'll just come back and show you guys that finished butterfly soap. Okay, so some of it did cover our butterfly. So what I do is I take a bamboo, bamboo skewer and... I kind of just try and lift it up. I need more energy. Can you help me? I need more energy. There's always energy. I know that doesn't look very pretty right now, but then what I will do to fix the rest of it is I'll run it under hot water and all those extra pieces will come off. So you can see that most of it came off. So I also made these. I used the star mold, put it in there, and then I put some of that purple soap. And I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing for any pieces that are covering the soap. That one came out really pretty too. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this melt and pour tutorial. I will see you next time.